What's up, everybody? It's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke. Um, I'm out here attacking Jaco Lantern again with the longbow. Uh, this time I'm going with no pre stacking and seeing how easy it's going to be. I don't expect it to be too hard. This is uh, pretty much my second attempt at this uh, with no pre stacking. I've decided it's best to start at a distance from him uh, because then I'm able to get, you know, a fair number of critical hits from the first magazine without him landing those pumpkin bombs on me that make me real slow and throw me off for the rest of the fight. So I'm strafing left of the pumping, pumpkin bombs now as to avoid them. I know that I'm working towards a damage relic over here. And then I'm going to try to get more critical hits on him. And eventually we'll blow his head up and his head will start to fly around. There we go. And now we only need about one more hit on that. So um, I'm going to avoid all those little minions while I turn with that critical there. And now I'm just going to take out all the little minions. I was really hoping for this boss to be a lot more difficult. It's unfortunate that uh, he wasn't. But, you know, it's it's alright. Um, he's just okay. But, you know, I had fun with the DLC. It's short, but keep in mind it's, you know, only $3. It's not very much at all. And uh, there were some good jokes and references and whatnot in it. And I appreciated the DLC as a whole. It comes recommended by me, I'd say. You know, it's only $3. Here's the skill build I use. Um, obviously, Velocity helped, and Critical Ascension did too. Same with Rising Shot. My badass rank was off. And here's a look at the gear I used. Obviously, this kill was done exclusively with the longbow. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to catch you next time.